Up next on Lion TV, we have Hannah Showy with the package on Senior Night, Ashley Coker with your local weather updates, and me, Joseph Doak, with a gnarly story over skating. All that and more, Lion TV starts now. And I'm Landon Stallnaker. Let's jump right into some announcements. The library will accept canned food for the food drive as payment for library fines. Each food item will count as 50 cents toward your fine. Johnston reps will be on campus Thursday, November 21st during both lunches to deliver class rings. They will be in English Lab 111. Congratulations to Emily Baker for being named to the 2019 UCA Honors Wind Ensemble. Based on a statewide nomination system, she was chosen to participate in a two-day clinic slash concert on the campus of UCA on December 5th through 6th. Miranda Webb and Katherine Peters were chosen as alternates as well. Congratulations to these talented band students. Now we have Hannah Shoei with the package over Senior Night, a very special event in which many people participate in. What do you have for us, Hannah? Senior night took place last Thursday at the Searcy Lion Football Stadium. I got with a couple seniors to get their input on how their night went. Senior night is kind of like a final goodbye. You know, it's the first step in leaving. Senior night not only recognizes the seniors on the dance team, cheer team, football team, and band, but also signifies the last time these students will perform and play on their own turf. I think senior night went pretty well. So each senior had to make up their own solo, and then along with that they had to make up at least 20 seconds for a dance, had to teach it to everyone. So going into senior night, we were all expecting like a huge game. We uh, started pretty strong uh, Thursday, and then going to the second half of the, of the game, we started kind of like losing it, just waiting for the game to end, but then picked some things back up, won the game, won the game, uh, 17 points higher than them. For a lot of people, it's not always easy leaving behind a sport that they've grown used to playing and working hard at every day. So dancing on the field for the last time was sad. I've grown so close to these people and it's sad that it's just over with now. Because it was, it was like nostalgic, you know, just thinking about, you know, three years ago, we're all just on the same team, just playing with each other. And then three years later, we're playing our last game for the regular season. Not only do these seniors leave behind their sport, but also the friends they've made along the way. I'm going to miss goofing off with the people I love and that I've gotten to know over the past few years. Relationship-wise, uh, you get really close with the guys on the team. So, you know, you, you start learning more about each other and start really how, like, how each other learn and how we really just work together. While some seniors stick to their sports in college, these two have other plans in mind. No, I do not plan on dancing outside of high school. I want to study art education. I'm going to be an art teacher. I plan on going to NLC College to get a business major. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to miss football. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it was like one of my top priorities, but, you know, it, just thinking about just being a dedicated student and just working towards, you know, a career is something that I'm really looking forward to. Senior night may mark the end of an activity that these students have spent their entire high school career participating in, but it also marks the beginning of a brand new adventure ahead of them. Back to the news desk. Wow, I never knew senior night was so important. Thanks, Hannah. Little Rock teachers will go on strike for one day this week over an Arkansas panel's decision to strip their collective bargaining power and complaints about state control of the 23,000 student district union officials, said Monday. The strike will, that will take place Thursday will be only the second time teachers have walked out on the job in Little Rock history. The Little Rock Education Association announcement comes after the state board of education in October voted to no longer recognize the union when the contract expires October 31st. 
Mold contamination at an election commission office in Arkansas is so extreme that staff health and electronic voting machines are at risk, and officials are looking for an alternative working space. Air quality technicians who inspected the Jefferson County Election Commission office last month found evidence of water damage and mold buildup, and an impressive musty odor per per permeated the air. Got milk? Increasingly, Americans don't, and that led to the nation's biggest milk producer to file for bankruptcy Tuesday. Dean Foods blamed a decades-long drop in milk consumption that has seen people turn to alternatives like soda, juice, and almond milk. The Dallas company said it may sell itself to the Dairy Farmers of America, a marketing corporative owned by thousands of farmers. Despite our best efforts to make our business more agile and cost efficient, we continue to be impacted by our challenging operating environment, marketed by continuing declines in consumer milk consumption, CEO Eric Berge said in a statement. After the break, we'll have Ashley Coger with your weather. I think it's time we do something about this little ghost. Now let's send it over to Ashley with some weather updates. Good afternoon, so I say high school, let's get into your weather. Today it's going to be sunny with a 10% chance of rain as with your high is 48 and the winds are going to be headed north-northeast at 7 miles per hour. The humidity is at 65% and your sun rose at 6.41 a.m. on to tonight. Tonight you'll have clear skies with the rain at 10% chance and a low of 26. Winds headed north at 3 miles per hour and humidity at 91% and your sun will set at 5.01 p.m. on to the almanac. Your highs and lows for the last seven days was 71 and 80, 18. The monthly average of precipitation is 5.15 inches, and the month to date is 3.21 inches. On to the five cast. Saturday, it's going to be sunny with a high of 51 and a low of 30, with a 0% chance of rain. Sunday, it's going to be mostly cloudy. Monday, it's going to be partly cloudy. Tuesday, it's going to be sunny. And to wrap up, Wednesday will be partly cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 43 with a 10% chance of rain. Well guys, looks like the sun's going to be out. I'm excited. Yep. Now let's look at what we're having for lunch Monday. Garlic cheese, French bread, pizza chicken and cheese quesadilla, salsa, grain salad, salad dressing variety, seasoned whole kernel corn, frozen juice cup, grapes and milk. Be sure to thank our wonderful lunch ladies for their hard work preparing our bountiful sustenance. Now we have our very own Joseph Delk with a package over skateboarding in Searcy. Let's see what you got, Joseph. Skating has come to an uprise in Searcy. Many people are participating in the sport. I went to the Searcy Skate Park to get a drop on this topic. People of all experiences come to the park to better themselves every day, whether it is to release stress, get exercise, or just enjoy the ride. I've probably been like skating on a skateboard for like a week, but as far as like being kind of like in that realm with longboarding and pennyboarding, probably about a year and a half, two years. Floor 
Skaters get injured on a daily basis and almost never land their tricks on their first try, but motivation keeps them rolling. I just heard about a lot of people up at Harding University right now who are like kind of getting into it and skate culture is kind of like on the up right now and it's just kind of like a lot of fun and it's something to do in my downtime and I just really like adrenaline rushes as well so. New skaters from different communities are coming to Searcy to learn and watch more experienced skaters that also practice at the Searcy Skate Park. Since I've gotten my board, I've been up here every day, but I got my board Saturday. You smell good though, I can smell it in the wind. You were so close. Mm. The skate community will continue to grow. You don't have to be a pro to start off. That's all I have for you guys today. Let's send it back to the news desk. Man, I never knew we had a skateboarding culture right here in Searcy. Yeah, neither did I. Now let's send things right over to Dakota Johnson to find out what's happening in the world of sports. Good morning, Cersei High School. I'm Dakota Johnson with all your sports needs. To start off last week, we had the red and white basketball game. And our next football game will be on the 22nd with the school to be announced. In college news, after the recent firing of Arkansas head coach, there has been rumors of who they will hire next. Top picks at the moment are Brent Venables, the Clemson defensive coordinator, Seth Luttrell, head coach of the North Texas Mean Green team, and Eli Drinkwitz, head of coach of the Appalachian State. Your next college day will hold Wisconsin at Nebraska and Oklahoma at Baylor. In national news, we have Baltimore going up against Houston, Philadelphia Eagles going against the New England Patriots, and Dallas against Detroit. Last week's games had the Saints losing to the Falcons 26-9, making their overall record 7-2. That's all I have for you today, Cersei. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Dakota, for those updates. Well, that wraps up today's episode of Lion TV. If you missed any episode, be sure to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to Cersei High Lion TV. Also, you can go to CerseiLionPress.com to see all the latest news. While you're there, check out Andrew Tyler's story over the possibility of a leader a later school starting time. And remember to follow us on Twitter at Lion TV, Instagram at Cersei Lion TV, and Facebook at Cersei High Lion TV. Signing off, I'm Maria Spearn. And I'm Landon Stolnaker. See you next week, Cersei.